I am. Thank you. Right. Supposed to catch a butterfly. Eh. Catch it. Catch it. Ah. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarko oh. and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Oh, bright light. Very bright light. What the heck? That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing, 
Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. So cute! My beautiful quill alone. I want to take her home and love her forever. I have a PlayStation VR. I mean, the, all the gaming I do is usually on PlayStation anyway, so. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. Oh, is that me? Ooh. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close and night would follow. Oh, good. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to be Quill. I was going to be very sad. Oh, and it sounds like the. <laughs> That's cool. Like the page is turning. Eh? Now, what you couldn't see is see how I'm moving this. This is um, me moving the controller, so when I was turning the pages, I was actually using the controller to turn the pages. Should I, uh, wait, do I have to, yeah, I see, I see what you're doing. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm dumb. Sorry, Quill. Oh my god, this is so pretty. My face. <laughs> I have no mouth though. Can I go in here? Oh. I don't think I can jump. Nope. I have to come back up. I have to go this way. Night, her uncle often warned was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Wait a second. Where do you expect me to go? Hmm. Oh no! Oh no! Apparently I cannot swim. Sorry, Quill. No, I do get her. She's so cute. Maybe. Uh-huh. 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 There. Yeah. Still don't see how that's going to get me over there.
platformer brain. Used to work. Thank you. Alright, drop. There we go. And now I just need to move this back over here. Whoa! <laughs> I hope we get Quill. Ooh, what's this? You're not gonna tell me what that is? Okay. Oh, it's a trophy. That's what it is. Do, do, do. Okay, where am I gonna come out of? There? I'm guessing. Oh no! They closed the gates! But I'm just a baby mouse! if I'm supposed to break this. I'm going to do it anyway. Give me something. No? Okay, I can't break that. Oh, these. Yes, I can break that. Can I? Can I? Can I? No? Okay, I can't. So that's much better. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. I love this game already! Alright. Trying to close me out. Not very nice. I'm just a little baby. Can I wave? I don't know how to wave. Can I put my sword away? No? Look at that. Cut the grass. Yeah. Other mousey. I got a trophy. Can I go here? No? Okay. Look at the little babies! Oh, they're so cute! Can you go that way? Whoa, this place is huge! I get to help. What am I supposed to do? Shoot. Hmm. I gotta get up there. Can I run up this? back down. No? Nope. Didn't catch it. And here. Uh, 
I got part of it right. Just don't drown Quill. Not like I want to. Alright. Slowly. There we go. Alright, I can look at it. go now. Get down here. Oh, I could just jump up there. Come on, Quill, put your back into it. There we go. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. fall down because I don't want to hurt my baby. What's this over here? What are these? Can I bounce? No? Okay. Quick shot. Oh my god, it's a squirrel. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Please tell me I can ride the squirrel. Oh god, blindness again. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, Something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous. He said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I will protect my baby, Quill. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. 
Oh Gott. Have a bee as a pet. Poor bee. Hey kid, kid, wake up. Oh, that's not very nice. Hey kid, over here. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. We're going to need them. Quill called out. Hey. Starling, wait! Oh, I'm going searching. So there's nothing I need before I leave. Like that. Gaming instincts. never met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. That's a good thing it doesn't quit talking just because I went to the next screen. Passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Guessing, yep. Who demanded answers? Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? Really what do you know? The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. that yelling hmm. move out of the way Claude I don't wanna run you over I didn't even think of that. Okay, do I need... Okay, how? Alright, pull this back out. the starving and don't forget to tuck your ears in okay we're just gonna go through a portal <gasps> I can see deer
Oh, look at that. Mm. More deer. What? Okay. Oh. Watching me. Yeah, that's right. You go back to drink it. Bambi. Wait. Is that a helmet? That is a helmet. I don't know if that's actually doing anything or <laughs> just on the other side is the Maya. The side of the shore. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. What about the squirrel? Can I take the squirrel? Okay. Oh okay. Oh That's my uncle's squirrel, isn't it? Although I just talked about the uncle. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Holy crap. Did you hear that? The starlings seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. Yeah, because that, that, that fills me with confidence. Okay, apparently can't go that way. No! Sorry, Quill. Can I? No? Okay, can Oh, she has to jump. Okay. Oh no! <gasps> it is sign language. She just wanted to thank you. Oh, that's so cool. I know a bit of sign language. Not much, but I do know a bit. Okay, um... Come this way. Okay, I can destroy it. I just gotta be careful not to run into it.
Can I drop? There we go. Okay. Go this way. Right, I'm gonna go back here. Oops. Okay, there's nothing back there. Well, something is telling me that there was. This was wrong. I didn't need to go up there. Up we go. Oh, there's a lot of thorns. That's those are bashed open. I don't like it. Oh god. Boss fight. We got this. Ow. Hits, that's all it takes. Okay. Okay. Nope. You ain't getting me. Come on, don't be stupid. I'm being stupid. Fudge. Let myself get hit, I don't know why. I don't know what that actually does. I don't know if it like heals me or I'm gonna find out, hold on. Yep. Yeah, it seems to heal me. Which is cool. Ooh, that almost got me. Anything in here that I need. It doesn't look like it. A whisper echoed through the trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. Oh god. Every time I come back, this is more filth. A band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze. 
then turned her attention upward. Hey, that's a mask of me. But I don't have ears. I felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior. Hey, my glass is filling up. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. Hey, don't you talk to Quill that way. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Theta thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Beta continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them first. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Will felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle twofold before the serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Our glass with her? Ruthseer! She's minuscule! Come now. The reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. get the, the grass arm like Finn does in Adventure Time. That's cool. Ooh. Alright, alright, alright. I need to get that scroll. I was gonna make it. Okay. Fall damage is apparently not a thing. I love the little noises she makes. Darn it. Made it the first time. Too fast. There we go. Just this time, don't go over the edge. Crapola. Only I can move the camera. Just watch where I'm going and yeah, haha! Got it at them.
I'm not missing anything. assume so, but you never know. It was Quill's favorite story. How Sir Argus fought beside the Sprite Champion to seal this temple from the Arcane and secure the survival of their kinds. Simply standing in their heroic footsteps felt like a great honor. Nothing over there. There a way I can lift it? Nope. Hmm. I don't want to smush her. That's what I'm afraid of doing. Not climb that? Let me see. Put this back. Put this back here for a second. brain. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Crap, crap, crap. Sometimes I forget that I'm pushing on the analog stick. <laughs> oh great, more beetles. Those leaves are in my face. Nope. 
Oh, more than one. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty neat. I could just send it, turn it. Yeah. My hands are sweaty. Okay. Just. <laughs> nope, it's not what I wanted. Was that? Yeah, I see what I did wrong. Climb that. Hmm. Can I push it all the way in? No, it only goes so far. Okay. Thank you. 
damn it. Yes, I know what to do, I just don't know. Exactly how to get up there. Oh, okay, I'm I'm dumb. To be fair, it's been a while since I've played a platformer. And I'm making excuses, I know. But let me feel better about myself. Take the stick. Oh god, there's no way. Seriously? I feel it. Let me see something. That is not what I wanted to see. Come on. That's right. <laughs> Darn it. Come here. Come here. Come on. I had it. I know what I'm supposed to do. Zero. second
darn cat waits until I'm busy and I can't see her. mess with stuff. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna. an eye on her. Ow. Come on. Come on. Oh, what is what is going on here? Nope. Oh. Over. Just to get the other one over there. Let's see. Oops. Okay. I did not realize there's a hole there. Get you to come over here? No? Okay. 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 Let's do this. There we go. Can I get you to follow me? Come on. Okay. 
Darn it. It looks like a shadow, so I don't think it's a hole, even though I know it's a hole. Okay. You. Stop. And come here. Zero. Get down. Get down. Now. Bad girl. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, I just gotta wait for it to go back down again. Now I just gotta get that stupid one over there. Hmm. Can nope. How? Here we go. So we are stuff gets a little I gotta be able to convince one of them to come over here. Zero. Get down. You want sprayed? I didn't think so. Now mommy's having a very hard time, so you just need to stop. Come on. Just a little bit further. God, you stunk it up. Did you not cover your litter? Oh, okay. I did a bad.
Now see, this could have been a lot easier. If you would have just did that for me in the first place. Come on. Come on. Nope. There you go. Right there. Okay, I do need to be up there. I know what I gotta do. But it's irritating me. So I'm gonna leave this one here. Um, I'm definitely gonna be playing more of this. I don't know if I'll do it on stream. Depends on if you guys like it. But uh, I would definitely be playing all of this. This is an extraordinary game. I love it already. It's visually amazing. And if you have a, v a PlayStation VR, I suggest you get it. Because it's not that expensive and it's worth it. But if you want to see more, let me know. Um, this will be up on... Twitch and YouTube when I export it. So let me know and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.